This is an old uh, old town tripper. Uh, needs a little cosmetic work. Just some creases and little places that need to be. That's more than a crease. That's a crack. Uh, which we don't want that to become waterlogged. And so that that's going to get a G flex and fiberglass patch. It's interesting how the, the skid plates come in and then they don't go all the way back to here. And you can see how they get rubbed here and how people rub a canoe like I guess just over time. This is out of the mid 80s uh, canoe via the serial number. Uh, Anyway, so I gotta do a little Kevlar patch here. I have some skid plate pieces that I'm gonna sacrifice into that. Uh, doing a, a lace system for containing things. One of the great things about a birch bark, I mean a birch bark, a cedar, cedar uh, plank uh, strip canoe is that you have the gunnels and you have uh, lacing holes uh, through the gunnels that you can tie stuff to. Um, and you don't get that with this, this kind of canoe. Uh, some of the old birch bark canoes, they had a cap that goes that went on top of this. Um, I suppose that these could be constructed in such a way that either did or didn't have that little, that hole, those holes between the ribs and planks. And so I'm, I'm putting it every four inches, starting off the center, every four inches. And then I have a, loops, PVC pipe that I've cut up, it's just a sample, so in and out, in and out with a loop on the inside, I'm going to peel the tape off, uh, doing uh, loops on the end that you can hook carabiners into or just a, uh, a line, there the idea is that it's not big enough to get your hand in, but you can get a you can put tie a line on or clip a carabiner into. I'm using a uh, yeah, that's not good. Uh, a double over hand. Let's see if I can get this. It's just an overhand knot. An overhand knot, simple knot, with the two lines that run through the uh, the hole. Double overhand, and then I put a then I back it up with another double overhand, uh, just an overhand knot right here. So there's two knots, and this, the trick is to creep this one here all the way up tight up into the up and under the deck. Get as tight as possible so that you you don't have such a loop. Like, like that. That's too big of a loop because you can get your hand in there. Uh, and if you're in a rescue position, you wouldn't want somebody to be tempted to, to use that as a grab loop. It's not a grab loop. You can hang on to the boat here if you want. This is not for lifting the boat. It's for fastening lines too. Uh, so these... These loops, these loops are possibly for airbags, uh, and I replaced a, uh, a seat. The seat went. Uh, there was a seat here and one down there, and I took those out, so there will be no seats. The uh, I do have a an interesting clip-in seat. It's adjustable you can tighten it up uh, adjustment also for tighter or looser is if you go further up into the boat I haven't tried that but height and width adjustable 
Uh, so this is a, a light seat that you could either take with you or not. The idea is this boat is for a uh, river uh, travel for the most part and more frequently either stand up paddle uh, and pole. With the option of a what may be a very comfortable seat. Trying to lighten things up with uh, by removing the seats. I gotta the, all the holes are drilled. I gotta peel the tape off and finish finish the knot. Creep the creep the knot up in there, and then tie. Uh, this is just some uh, bait. Some bait line from uh, Hamilton Marine. Uh, tying bait line to arm ball. It's a, it's, it's a pretty durable, tough little line. Just one more. This line, I, I found that to get it you get it, uh, you want just a little bit of room. That's too tight right there, but you won't get the knot inside tight enough. Uh, not easily, at least. So pull this as tight as you can. Snug your first uh, overhand knot right up. You just gotta, you gotta work, work it up in there. Uh, and by the time you get it up in there, as far as you can, your hands are all cramped up and you're all, you're about done with it so that it, it will pull out just enough to get a get a carabiner in there, which is all you need. Way and I only have two feet and I thought for sure I had you know plenty of string here sticking out so for every for every four inches you add three quarters and you got to go through the thing you probably add in an extra inch so if you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven you got you got twelve of them by the time you get to here you need two feet extra of string, two feet, at least two feet. Anyway, I hope I don't run short, that would be a bugger. Yeah, I, I barely had enough. So I'm about about 18 inches past the past the bow stem. And I when I when I did it I was like I was out I was out four feet almost. So it used up uh, uh, two and a half feet of uh, cordage extra. So just plan on extra you know, don't run short. This, this one here in. Then we gotta get it tied off to the, to the line here.
So the little uh, pipe is just a PVC pipe that's sized uh, so that the, uh, the rope, whatever size rope you're using, will slip through. Uh, I think this is a quarter inch or so, maybe three sixteenths. Uh, and see the little bevel? Well, at first I got, well, overthinking it. And I was cutting a few with a bevel on it so that when they seated, they would be kind of against the surface, the inside surface there, like that. And I quickly realized that that was, that was being a little too, uh, paying a little too much to detail. So I canned that idea and just, just snipped them off square with a pair of scissors. I had my little PEX pipe cutting thing, and that, that's a nuisance uh, for cutting multiple small little dinky cuts. So just a pair of scissors. Uh, cut, I cut one to the right length and then use that as a pattern to, to apply and then snip the, 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 the rest of them. The, uh, the loops, my holes are four inches apart. I made the loops four and three quarters inches. And I think that's a nice, that's a nice size. The loop, the loop ends up being just, just hidden under the gunnel, the inner, in the inner rail here, just, just barely. So it's not something that sticks right out and, and uh, either gets in the way or is something to not. But you can still easily reach up to and run a line through or clip a carabiner to or something. So that was, uh, what, three quarters of an inch longer? Three quarter, four, four and three quarters, four and seven eighths. If you wanted these loops to be bigger, you just make your loops longer. This uh, bait bag line. I think they use this to tie the bait bags. They don't make bait bags out of it. Uh, I think it's to, they use this to tie the bait bags in. Uh, those lobsters are pretty fierce creatures and you need a rugged line. This is pretty cool, but uh, and it melts really nice. And so you can melt it into a little uh, needle. Yeah, that focus is really nice. This tight I was just pulling on it wrapping my hand around the string and pulling on it and that was starting to hurt my hand so it just got a stick and then I was pulling on it this way so I discovered that uh, if you just pull it this way this you can take the uh, take the uh, slack right out of it no problem so everyone gets stuck right up and then the another nice, nice thing is this this, uh, this cordage here stays tight. Well, it's reasonably tight. It doesn't come like sliver, slivering all out. Loops on. Tie outs are in. Seat. I'm going to replace this thwart with a, uh, a carrying yoke. I'm going to make a uh, little cutout. Uh, I might keep that one or I might replace it. I might just scrape the, the uh, varnish off and use my birch oil. Uh, yep, stern seat's gone. Loops in. Next is uh, repairing those, you can see the crink, the crinkle, 
right here. It's been, uh, well, there's that one, but I think the real the bad one is this one right down here, which I showed at the beginning. Yeah, that's that's the one that's cracked. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grind a little bit of that. I got some G-Flex uh, paste uh, and mulch up some, some reinforcement. Get that on there. These these creases here, I might I might just fill those with uh, uh, some of the paste. Uh, this one right here isn't through, but I, it should probably be reinforced a little bit. Some minor dings like that. Uh, I don't know what this one here. Why I circled that one? Maybe it just needs a little, a little, uh, just a, some G Flex to spread on there. To looks like it might be pinholes in it. I think. 